Hello, and welcome to Paper Play with Julie Kay. Welcome, everyone, and thank you so much for stopping by to check out my latest video and to see what I'm up to. And today I have a couple of hours in my craft room. I'm just home for a couple of days, and then I'm back out again on the road for work. And I have some journals I should be working on, but I decided just to kind of play and make some little flowers. These are really easy flowers to make and I like to send them out in a happy mail. So I thought I would show you guys my process and a couple of ideas for them. And so I'll just hold up a couple of them. Um, this one, I just added a piece of bling in the middle of it. This one's very similar, except for I added a little um, remnant or a snippet of some lace, some eyelash trim, and a pretty little flower that I got from Kim at Angel Dreams Crafts. Kim on Etsy, I thought that was kind of a fun little center. Here is another similar flower and just a different color and just a bling, very simple one in the middle. Here's another one, um, the same lace, but this time I added a little eyelash trim and then a different flower that I got from Kim. And here's another variation of that one. And this one I used a cute little pink doily. And I got that, I think, from, from Judy in a swap we did. I added some eyelash trim and then a little glass cabochon in the middle. And that also came comes from Kim's Etsy shop. Um, same with this one, just different color this time. The trim, then I used a large doily, some eyelash trim, and then this fun little bird glass cabochon in the middle. This one's a blue one and this one just has a glass cabochon in the middle and that one also is from Kim's shop. This one's kind of fun. This one, I actually added a little doily kind of somewhere in the middle of the flower. There's a doily at the top, some eyelash trim and some bling on that one. This one has a flower from Kim's shop a little remnant from some lace. There's some eyelash trim on there. And then here was another one that I made. This one had like a connector piece from a doily on it, eyelash trim, and then another glass cabochon from Kim Shop. And I guess before we get going, I am, I do apologize. My, some of my nails are kind of yucky and my fingers, cause I was trying to dye some lace and, um, I couldn't wash it off, so I do apologize for that. And then for this project, what you are going to need is, I like to start off with a base, and I just use felt. And these are just felt scraps I have left over from other projects, and what I go ahead and do is I cut them into circles. They don't have to be perfect, so we'll just pull one of those circles aside. You also are gonna need some sort of lace, and I'm going to continue working with this one because I have a ton of it, or some sort of trim. And this one, I picked up in a D-stash from Lisa, who's Charlisa's Crafty Corner, um, here on YouTube several, several years ago, but um, I bought it, a lot of it. She had a huge D-stash, and so I picked this one up. Um, this was another one in that D stash from her along with this pink trim and it's just kind of a two layered gathered trim. This one has tulle and you know some material on it. If for some reason you don't have trim like this what I would recommend using is like a little bit of a gathered trim um, like you could use this eyelet trim like that and I have a base of that one done I just didn't put anything on this one yet, so that would work nice. You could also use like a lace like like this or a double layered lace similar to this one. So you need some sort of lace or trim. Uh, most likely I'm gonna use some sort of eyelash trim. I also have, you know, some centers for my flowers sitting here. I have some flowers, I have buttons, I have glass cabochons from Kim Shop, some bling. I have pins, like I think this is a pin. Um, little pieces that I've gotten in Happy Mail recently, um, just stuff like that. So I have a little bowl usually sitting on the side with things like that. And then, um, of 
course, you'll need a hot glue gun, a scissors. And then also, if you wanted to add a little bit of extra to it, um, besides the eyelash trim, you know, you can add pieces from appliques. Here's some trim that I like to use. And I think I got this one from Kim a long time ago at Angel Dream Crafts. Same with these ones right here, too. They're, I cut them up from a trim. Um, that one also got cut up from a trim that came from Kim's shop. Here's an applique that my mom's neighbor gave me. And you could cut out little flowers from here if you wanted for the center. I still have one doily left from Judy that's pink that I could use. I have this trim also that came from Kim's shop. And then I also have like doilies, some small doilies or little connector pieces that you could use. So we'll just see what we decide to use here. So I have all that stuff sitting on my desk off to the side. And so again, to start off with, you want your little circle. And I need to find the front of my trim. And so this, like I said, is a really easy flower to do. There's no sewing involved. Um, we just need the hot glue. And we're just going to work our way around. Basically, we're going to put hot glue around the sides. And we're just going to slowly add our trim around the edge and then keep on working our way into the middle. Some people I know like to work on the middle out. I usually like to work from the outside in for these types of flowers. And I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see what I'm doing here. And then also sometimes I like to have a tweezers or something close by if um, the hot glue gets too hot on my fingers as I'm setting it down. So you can kind of see it just added a little bit at a time for the hot glue. And this trim's a little bit shabby. It has um, shabby and vintage. It has a lot of strings coming from it, but I love it. So um, I'll be kind of sad when I run out of it. I have absolutely no clue where she got it from, but I do like it. And if I ever saw it anywhere, I'd probably buy it again. So hopefully you guys can can see what I'm doing here. Just working my way around the edge. Like I said, this is a really, really easy flower to make if you're just getting going on learning how to make flowers. And I like adding these types of flowers to like fabric and lace projects. Um, they also are really fun for the a cover of a journal. I probably wouldn't put them inside of a journal because they're they would be kind of too 3D. And it would be really tough to have flat pages if you made this type of flower, but it is fun for a cover. And so that's what it looks like to begin with. And now I know like some people might cut it off here and then start the next layer. I just like to keep on with the same one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put glue just kind of right in here and work my way around again. And I'm gonna keep on doing that. But if you wanted to, you could cut this off and then start another layer. Um, but like I said, I just like to kind of keep on going with the same, same trim. But of course, if you wanted to change out the color, that's what you would do is you would cut it off now and then change out the color. So now I'm going to just move up my trim just a little bit or your lace and just start building a second layer around. So now we've kind of gotten the second layer. You can see now there's two layers. So I'm gonna go ahead and do at least a third on this one. And you can get bigger flowers like we started off with. 
one about this size and I don't, let me see if I have a ruler here that, just so you can kind of see what size my circle is. So, you know, it's probably about it, you know, more of an oval, like an inch, inch and a quarter by inch and a half inch and a quarter by inch and a half if you want to know kind of the, the exact size of this one. But you could get a bigger flower if you started off with a bigger one that was like a two inch circle. So I've kind of gone around three different times now with that trim. And I might just try and gather it up and do a little bit more one more time around. Just to add a little bit more to the center of this one. So it looks like right about there is where it's going to end. So let's cut it off here. So that's kind of what we have there. You can see there's several layers and you can stop it wherever you point you want. Um, this one I went around four times, but you could stop at two or, or three, whatever works for you. There's no, no rules. You just do it until you like it. And so now this is what I think is the fun part um, is decorating the middle. And oftentimes when I do these, I'll do like four or five like this, and then I'll go ahead and put all the centers in them. Or oftentimes I'll just leave them like this and put them away until I'm ready to use them on a project. And then I'll go ahead and add the prod, whatever I want in the middle based on whatever I'm working on. Um, so I think I want to show you guys um, something similar to this one where I added the doily in the middle and then the doily on top. I'll probably do a different center. But um, I have this doily right here. And you can kind of see that I can cut the center out of this one. So we're going to go ahead and do that. This flower here too, I would have been able to or the not flower, but doily, I would have been able to cut out the center of this one too to do something similar. So now I have two pieces to this doily. And what you could do is you could cut it just right here and then wrap it inside. But with these, this style, I found that I can just kind of lift up a couple of my layers. And I'm just kind of holding it like this. Hopefully you guys can see that. And so I'm just going to stick this right there, I think. Yeah, I like where that is. So you can kind of see I just stuck it where I like it. But you could cut it and then glue it in. Um, but since I'm able to lift the layers, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then what I do is I just kind of strategically place just a little bit of hot glue on just a little bit of it. And then I glue it glue the doily inside of this flower. You could if you wanted to wrap like some eyelet trim in there also if you wanted to. So I think I've got that all down. Another idea too is you could take some sort of trim or lace like, like this and you could also layer that re-glue that inside a couple of the layers if you wanted, you know, another look, but I'm not going to do that with this one. I like, I like how this looks. So I might as well go ahead and use this one as part of my center. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue that down. And let's see, uh, most likely I'm going to use some eyelash trim. But I got to decide what what I want to put in the middle of this flower. Um, 
I think these, the, these flowers are really pretty that I got from Kim. She sent me some happy mail a little while ago from stuff from her shop. And so, I mean, I think that's really pretty in the middle of that one. So I'm kind of tempted with that one. I also like this one in the middle. But the problem with that one, I think, is it's going to cover up this doily. And I want to see a little bit of that. So, um, you know, this one has a little bit of color to it. That came from Kim Shop, too. If you wanted a little bit of color to it. But I kind of want to keep this one, I think, neutral. In case I want to use it on, like, a vintage project. I got these buttons, I think, from Judy. And that would be kind of cute in the middle. I have a metal piece. That would be nice. And I got that really fun little center. And I wonder if I didn't, I think I got this in Happy Mail. I think that one came from Tammy, I think, in a swap that we did. That one actually looks like a little center from a flower. I really like that one. That one looks nice too. Oh, here's a little heart that came from Kim's shop. You know, I always like the glass cabochons, but I've done quite a few already with the glass cabochons in the middle, so I don't know. You can put bling in the middle. That one isn't too bad. I got that one in Happy Mail too, or a swap. That one's kind of pretty. So is that one. So I don't think I could really go wrong with with anything. You can also put different shapes in the middle if you want. That one's more of an oval. So yeah, I think I'm leaning towards. Either the flower or this really pretty center. I just have to decide if that's what I want to use that on. So again, that's what it looks like. That way or... So maybe I'll cut off a little bit of this eyelash trim and see which one I like better now with that under it. That still looks good. And it looks good with there. I think I'm going to go with a flower just because I think I want to hoard this one just a little bit longer. Um, that makes a perfect center for a flower and I think I want to hold on to it for a while. So, yeah, I think I'm going to hold on to that one. So we'll use the flower because I still have a couple more of these left. So, you know, the other option too for this center is I could have cut out like a trim like this and put that in the middle with something else in the middle. Or, you know, I had these flowers too that you could have stuck in the middle. So lots of options. But I think, like I said, I think I'm going to use this one. But I just put a little bit of glue in the middle. And then I just kind of bunch up my eyelash trim. And this one's kind of a multicolored vintage colors, neutral colors on this one. And then I go ahead and um, this one did have a wire on it, but I already cut the wire off. So we'll just go ahead and add a little glue to the bottom of this one. And then we'll just stick it in the center of our flower. Then just take care of any glue strings if you have to. And you can kind of fluff up your flower a little bit and there is our final flowers. So there is our completed little flower. Hopefully you guys like this little 
tutorial today. It's kind of a fun, quick and easy little flower to make. And I will go ahead and pop Kim's Etsy store in the description box if you guys are interested. I do know that um, she still has some of the, at least at the time that I'm recording this video, she still has some flowers in her shop. She also has some different glass cabochons and I'm pretty sure she usually has some sort of bling in her shop. So if you are interested in that, you can check out her store. Um, but again, I had fun showing you guys these quick and easy little flowers and so um, hopefully you enjoyed it. And until next time, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and happy crafting.